Hello everyone and welcome back to Chardet Crochets. For this tutorial we will be making an alpine stitch triangle bikini top to match the last video that I just did which was an alpine stitch bikini bottom. So I'm going to be using the same yarn that I used in the last pattern. It is, I love this yarn in cotton and this is the color stonewash and it is a medium weight for yarn. And then I'm going to be using also an e-hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter hook. And so I do recommend using a softer um, weight for yarn or maybe even a thinner one because those seem to work well with the uh, smaller hook with the 3.5 millimeter hook. If you wanted to use something that's a little more thicker or stiffer in a weight four, then I would recommend uh, going up probably to a G hook and then going down a size in the pattern. And that way you can use the thicker um, yarns there. So other than that, you'll need also a pair of scissors and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are making cup sizes A through double D. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and make a slip knot. And then A cup, you can chain 26. A B cup, you can chain 32. A C cup, you can chain 38. A D can chain 44. And a double D can chain 56. All right, so once you have your chains for your size, we're going to put a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So skip that first chain and in the second chain put one single crochet and then we're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch across. So um, an A cup you should have 25 single crochets, a B cup you should have 31, a C cup you should have 37. A D cup, you should have 43 single crochets in this row. And double D, you should have 55 single crochets in this row. All right, so after you finish your first row of single crochets, from here we will chain one and turn. And what we're gonna do next is start doing back loop only single crochets for this row. So in the first stitch, we're going to, instead of going through both loops like a normal, we're just gonna go into that back one only. So we're gonna go into that back one and single crochet. And then from there, we'll chain one skip one and put another back loop only single crochet in the next stitch. So we're just uh, going to repeat that pattern. So chain one, skip one, and a back loop only single crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip the next stitch, and a back loop only single crochet in the next stitch. So go ahead and repeat that all the way down, and I'll see you there. All right, so I'm coming up on the end of the row and I just have two stitches left here. So I'm just going to chain one and put my last back loop only single crochet in that last stitch. And then chain one and turn. So in this row, it could be a little bit weird because we have these little chain spaces here, but we're going to do front loop only single crochets all the way across in this row. So in the very first stitch, we're going to pick up that front loop, the front loop only, like that. So not both V's, but the front. And we'll do a single crochet in that loop. So when you get to this stitch with the um, chain space there, we're just going to do the same thing, but it's just a different angle. It's this bar here. Well, you can see it on the top too. But it's just 
kind of like a slower row. You kind of have to um, really make sure that you get that front loop only. And if you get confused with this step, then just make sure you count it out that you should have the same amount of stitches in this row as you started off with. So go ahead and repeat that all the way across, just front loop only single crochets and I'll meet you there. Okay, so once you finish uh, your row of front loop only single crochets, chain one and turn. And then from here, we're just going to be putting one double crochet in every stitch across. So it's a pretty simple row. Um, you should still have 25, 31, 37, 43, or 55 stitches in this row. So go ahead and just put one double crochet in every stitch across. All right, so that's what it looks like so far. And from here, we will chain one and turn. So these next two rows that we're gonna do are going to be our repeat rows. So this is the first row of the repeat. So in the first two stitches, we will be putting a single crochet decrease. So we're gonna insert our hook, pull up a loop, insert into the next stitch, pull up a loop, and now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and we just turned two stitches into one and did a decrease. So from here now we're going to just put one single crochet in every stitch across until we have two stitches left. Alright so once you have your two stitches left in this row we're going to do another single crochet decrease. So we'll insert our hook in the first stitch and pull up a loop, and then insert our hook into the second stitch and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through all three. So that is the first row of the repeat, and then from here we will chain one and turn. So now we're going to put a double crochet in the first stitch here. So just a plain double crochet. And be, because of this decrease, um, because of the decrease we did, these two double crochets are now like in line with this one double crochet. And the alpine stitch is front post double crochets on every other stitch. So we're going to treat these two as if they go with this first stitch and it'll be the same at the end of the row which I'll show you later. Um, so now we're going to do a front post double crochet and the double crochet below the second stitch which would be this third one here. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook from B from the front going to the back around that stitch and pulling that stitch forward to make it a front post double crochet. So I'll do that again. Yarn over, insert your hook from the front to the back and back out in the front again to push this stitch forward and then yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have three loops on your hook so just like any other double crochet and then yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, like finishing a regular double crochet. It just brings it up to the front more. From there, we're going to just recognize that technically we're going to skip this stitch because we put the stitch on the front. So we're not going to use this stitch that we were supposed to use for the second stitch of the row. So just make sure when you do your next stitch that you go in the third stitch and make sure you leave space for that stitch. So we'll yarn over and put a regular double crochet in this next stitch and then every other stitch gets a front post double crochet. So this next stitch we're going to do another front post double crochet.
and then we're just switching up from there so it's back and forth the next stitch and make sure you skip that stitch and go in the next stitch and do a regular double crochet and then in the next stitch we'll do a front post double crochet so you can continue this pattern across and I'll meet you towards the end of the row here all right so I did every other stitch as a front post double crochet and now I have two stitches left so your third to last stitch should have been um, a regular double crochet and then you should have two stitches left there so what we're going to do is put a front post double crochet in this third to last double crochet below so one front post double crochet in that stitch and then in the last stitch here we're just going to put a regular double crochet. So that is our repeat. Okay, so we can kind of go through the repeat quickly here one more time. You're going to chain one and turn. And then in the first two stitches, you will put a single crochet decrease. And then you'll put one single crochet in every stitch across and then when you have two stitches left we will do a, a single crochet decrease in those last two stitches chain one and turn and now we will repeat that other row so we'll be putting one double crochet in the first stitch and there's two double crochets here so in the third one it'll always line up that the third one will be the the one that gets the front post double crochet so from there we'll just put a front post double crochet in that third double crochet below and you can also tell because that stitch will not be a front post so these were front posts surrounding it and every other row gets every other in every other row every other stitch gets the front post if that makes sense so when you see that the stitch the double crochet below hadn't been used as a front post you know that that's the stitch that you're going to be front posting in okay so we're going back and forth doing front post double crochets and regular double crochets and we're gonna just do this all the way across and then when you have two stitches left you will do your last front post double crochet in that third to last double crochet below and your last stitch will be a regular double crochet so we're just going to repeat this pattern um, until so I already did my first cup we're going to repeat this pattern until we have like one front there'll be three stitches in the row but there'll be one um, front post double crochet in the middle of that row so I will meet you kind of like when we begin to have three stitches left so go ahead and continue that pattern and I will meet you there all right so I just got to the row where I just decreased from five stitches to three so from there chain one and turn and now um, we're going to do our last row of the alpine stitch so we're going to put a double crochet in the first stitch and a front uh, post double crochet in the second stitch and a regular double crochet in the last stitch 
So from there, what you want to do is do not chain one. We're just going to turn and then we're going to put um, a three way decrease. So we just turned with no chain. Um, we're going to insert our hook into the first stitch, pull up a loop, insert our hook into that second stitch, pull up a loop. I did that one really tight. <laughs> and insert our hook into the third stitch and pull up a loop. So now we have four stitches on our hook and we'll yarn over and pull through all four. So that was us uh, turning three stitches into one. And then from there we're going to just start making a chain for the top tie here. So, let's see, we have, we have, okay, for the top tie, um, this is going to be according to sizes small through 3X because, um, you know, this more correlates with the body and less with the cup, the tie. So a uh, size small and medium, you can do 100 chains, um, a large, and 1X, you can do 125 chains, a 2X, and, I'm sorry, a 2X and 3X, you can do 140 chains. So go ahead and chain out your, your chain as long as you need, and then you can fasten off, and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I finished the chains for the size that I'm making, and I'll just fasten off there. And so what you want to do is just, uh, you want to go ahead and repeat the same steps for the second cup. So just uh, make sure that you, um, you can rewind the video if you need a reminder. Um... But yeah, just make the second cup the exact same way as you made the first, and then we'll move on to the the last step. So the last step is just making that band that goes around and ties in the back. So I'm going to set these aside for a second, and we are just going to go ahead and make our chain. So I'm going to start with a new piece and make a slip knot. And then you'll want to chain according to small through 3x. So size small, you can chain 255 chains, 255. A medium, you can chain 275. A large, you can chain 295. A 1x, you can chain 315 chains. 2x can make uh, 335 chains. And a 3x, you can go ahead and chain out 355 chains. And so chain that out and I will meet you. All right, so once you make your tail long enough or your chain long enough for your size, go ahead and fasten that off. I'm just going to make sure that my two ends are even. like that boom and so we're just going to basically just weave this string into these little chain one spaces they're pretty small but we're going to weave into those so you're just going to take your first cup and find that empty chain space and weave your tail in And we're just going to go back and forth, weaving this into the empty chain spaces here. So keep weaving them in back and forth. All right, so once you have the first one all the way weaved in, we're just going to continue and go into the second cup. So we're just going to again find those um, find those 
little chain spaces in the second cup and just repeat. So yeah, that's pretty much all we're doing. So yeah, once you weave in um, your back tie here, you are all finished and you now have this really cute triangle alpine stitch bikini top. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks so much again. I can't thank you enough. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification bell if you like this video and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.